If a staff person either downloaded a free EPUB or a paid one from their iBooks account, they can then share them with the student through Google Drive. So let's say that this is the student's drive. Here is the book that the teacher sent them. You're going to tap on the three dots and then you're going to tap on open in. Now on this list, you'll see many options. This is the app right here. If it weren't there at the beginning when you opened it, you would be able to find it in more. So we're going to go back. We're going to open the Easy Reader app. This is a free book reading app. So here's the book. Down here at the bottom is the table of contents. And I'll just go to, I'll just stay on that page. So you can see the pictures come through. The text is all there. There are lots of options for customizing this. So up here you have font, sizes, spacing, colors. Have the student go through and find what's comfortable for them. You also have a lot of auditory settings here as well. Voices, the speed, pronunciation, all of that. You can also um, bookmark. You can search words within the text here. We'll look at bookmarks first. You can put many bookmarks in. What you would do is you would tap on a word where you want the bookmark to appear and then you tap on bookmark. Then you can tap on bookmark again and you can add a note. So you could write um, read this for the quiz. You can also put an audio note down here. Read this for the quiz. Then you're going to say save. Now you have a bookmark. You can go down and put another bookmark anywhere you want. Tap bookmark again, tap again, and it's a blank. So you can put anything you want anywhere. If you want to delete the bookmark, you would tap into the line and then it would say edit or remove or cancel. So I'm just going to remove that bookmark and now it's gone. It's a pretty nice tool.